Okay. All right. There. I <laughs> just had to, uh, apparently had to get things going. Had a couple errors with StreamYard here, but uh, good evening. It is a, a lovely Saturday and uh, I am here coming to you live from North Dakota. My name is Josh and I'm going to talk about some tips when talking to prospects. And uh, a little, little about today. Today was kind of an awesome day. Got to spend some time with my dad and my brother. We went, uh, and, my, and my son, my oldest son, and we went out golfing for a little bit today. And then I was able to, uh, you know, it was my, my youngest son. It was his birthday as well. And so we did a little, we couldn't really throw a party for him. We did kind of like a little little bubble party outside and then ended up, uh, you know, going through and, you know, showing him some presents, had a Spider-Man cake for him that we had and all that kind of stuff. So it was pretty awesome. But um, but here now we're going to get back down to business, uh, you know, after we've, we've had a couple meetings today. And so we're going to, you know, really get into this. And if you are watching live, um, you know, as we, uh, you know, do live on StreamYard, please do go through and, uh, you know, make sure you go to StreamYard.com slash Facebook to give them the permission to see your name on Facebook. So then that way we can see your name when you do comment live. And if you are going to catch on the replay, you know, make sure to go and hashtag replay. So that way we can know that you're coming in and on a replay. So uh, right, right into the process prospecting tips here. So any any type of business you're in, whether you're real estate, whether you're network marketing, whether you are doing um, digital marketing, whether you're affiliate marketing, doesn't matter what you're doing, any business, I mean, even selling cars, doesn't matter. You're going to have prospects. You're going to have people that you either go find or people that come to you, ideally with attraction marketing, which is what we're focusing on right now. You know, you're going to have the prospects actually come to you, regardless of you going to them really all that much. But these tips are universal. These are things that anybody can do. And so when we're talking to prospects, it's really easy to get overwhelmed and it's really easy to feel like everything's just kind of crashing down on you. And so here's some tips and things that you can, there's six things that you can do to really kind of up your game when you're talking to prospects and make you sound credible and authentic and also, you know, make you sound that, you know, um, you are experienced in what you're doing. So number one, just relax, loosen up, have fun, enjoy it. Um, if you're tense, those things are going to come out in your conversation. You're going to seem like you're really trying to be pushy or you're trying to be too forward. Just, you know, loosen up your shoulders a bit, be, be okay to, you know, just be a little silly with it even too. I mean, just, just loosen yourself up and, and relax and just enjoy the process. Number two, clear your mind. Don't be thinking about anything else. Don't let the clutter be in there. Don't let it, you know, really be something that you are thinking about other things while you're talking to your prospect. Focus in on your prospect. Make sure that they are aware that you are there for them and not kind of off on la la land talking about something else. Um, know you're going to win. I mean, when you're talking to a prospect, the big thing here is don't question yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Don't think that you are just going to, you know, do whatever and that, you know, we'll hope it works. Say, you know what? I'm here to win. Choose to be a winner. Uh, you know, number five, focus on what you can control. And this is a really important one. So if there's any one of these that you really, you know, that you really want to focus on, this one. Focus only on what you can control. And the big thing is that you're you're really only in control of your own actions. So let's say, for example, you are going out and you're putting out like a Facebook Live like this, right? You can't control who views your Facebook Live. You can't control who comments. You can't control who reacts to the post. You can't even control whether the fact that Facebook gets it on the right way. You know, a good example is like I tried to put this live on probably two or three times trying to click the button and it just wouldn't work. And finally, I got it to work and now we're live. I can't control that. Now I can choose to get upset about that or I can choose to just say, all right, I'm going to get it done. So other things too of like, you know, when you're talking to a prospect, you can't control how they're going to react to your content. You can't control how they're going to react to your information, how you're gonna, they're going to react to your questions. All you can control is how you react to their reaction. So uh, no matter how much of a wordsmith you are, you aren't going to have control over that. Um, another one is there's a big difference between knowing and doing. So while I'm pu putting out these tips and there's going to be a lot of, you know, big tips coming out here in the next few days. While I know that these are helpful, I also need to do them. 
you know, you can't just sit back and learn, 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 learn without actually going and implementing the process. And I know I've talked about this in a previous live before, but it's really important that we stress on that and say, hey, learn what you need and then go do the steps to implement them. And then also execute daily. Don't sit back and just wait for someone to do something. Don't sit back and wait for someone to talk to you. If you have a prospect, keep in constant communication with that prospect, whether that's follow-up emails, whether that's messaging them, whether that's calling them, doesn't matter. Just make sure that you are following up with them. So then that way they know that they are important to you and it's going to be better for you in the long run. So just to recap here, um, prospect, prospecting tips to help when you're talking with your prospect, uh, whether you're actually, um, you know, going out to find them or bringing them to you. Number one, relax, loosen up, have fun. Number two, clear your mind. Number three, know that you're going to win. Make that decision that you know that you're going to actually win. Uh, number four, focus on only on what you can control. Number five, you know, there's a big difference between knowing and doing. Learn it, then do it. Don't just learn it and say, okay, I know it. Now what? Just go do it. And then lastly, number six, execute daily. So I hope you got, you know, you, you got some uh, value out of this. And I'm really trying to stop saying you guys or you all. So I still slip from time to time, but that happens. But I hope you got some value out of this. If you did get some value out of this, go ahead and shoot me a comment in, in the thread there. Let me know if it was valuable to you. Uh, share it to your friends. Share it to who you think would actually find this information useful. And then go ahead and just make sure you subscribe to our lives. Uh, like I said, we are doing uh, live videos every day now. I believe I've got... Uh, 14 or 15 days left, but I'm going to do it every day. After that, we're going to try to be live a couple times a week just so that way we can give that information out to you. And who knows, I might still do it every day. It all depends on what happens. But um, you know, make sure you subscribe so you get a notification uh, that we go live. And then lastly, too, uh, you know, keep an eye out for anything that we put out as far as content goes. And if you do have any questions or anything, don't be afraid to reach out to us and ask us. We just want to be helpful. We want to make sure everybody or everybody is succeeding in their business. So, you know, bring your questions to us and we're more than happy to do what we can to help. So that's all for tonight. Just something quick for you guys, for you all there. I did it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> just something quick for you and uh, have yourself a wonderful evening. Bye now.